Prime Minister says if he loses a vote on a bill giving doctors the final say on evacuating sick asylum seekers from offshore de detention, he will ignore the outcome. Let's go live to Canberra and our political reporter Ellie Walsh. Ellie, good morning. What more can you tell us? Well, Davina, this is expected to come up during the next parliamentary sitting week when Parliament resumes on Tuesday. The bill, which would give doctors the final say on evacuating sick asylum seekers from offshore detention, is an independent motion which the Labor Party supported in the Senate. The government, now in minority in the House of Representatives, of course, faces the very real possibility of losing the vote. And if that happens, Davina, it would be the first time in 90 years now, the Prime Minister last night said uh, he would simply ignore any loss. If we lose that vote next week, so be it. We won't go off the polls. The election's in May. I will simply ignore it and we'll get on with the business. This is a stupid bill. It's written by people who haven't got the faintest idea how this works. OK, and on a separate issue, Labor has accused Liberal MP Tim Wilson of a conflict of interest and abusing the parliamentary process. Mr Wilson is chair of an inquiry into Labor's proposed changes to franking credits, but it's now been revealed he also holds uh, shares in a fund management firm leading the charge. Now, Labor is now urging him to resign over that, quote, highly unethical behaviour. Ellie Walsh, live in Canberra. Thank you. Queensland is watching the number one news hour.